If you could please take your seat, we'll get started. Okay, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Stacy Deputy. I'm instructor of biology here at the Chesapeake campus, and I am the incoming faculty senate chair. Um, I'm pleased to welcome you here today to our fall 2018 um, convocation. Um, if you're uh, watching live stream from your desk, then I welcome you um, as well. We're going to start this morning with the traditional awards and recognition part of the program, which will be emceed by Dr. Corey McRae, Interim Executive Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs, after which Interim President Dr. Gregory DeSincu will deliver his State of the College remarks. Now please join me in welcoming Dr. Corey McRae. Well, good morning. Thank you, and welcome to the Fall 2018 Convocation. I'd like to start by welcoming members of the TCC College Board who are with us this morning. Please stand as I call your names. Ms. Terry Thompson, Chair of TCC College Board. <laughs> College Board members, Mr. Jerome Bynum, Mr. Bill Crow, Ms. Paulette Franklin Jenkins, Mr. John Murray, Mr. John Paget, Ms. Linda Reidenhauer. And from the Foundation Board, Mr. Chris Stewart. Thank you so much for your continued support to, and service to TCC. Before we begin recognizing those employees who have attained service milestones, let's take a minute to recognize TCC's service milestone. TCC began offering classes in fall of 1968 making this our 50th year of serving the citizens and employers of Hampton Roads. You will be seeing the 50th anniversary artwork in many places starting today, including our website at tcc.edu 50. There, you can also learn how to customize your TCC email signatures with the 50th anniversary and walk down memory lane. On behalf of Dr. DeCQ and, pres and the President's Cabinet, thanks to all of you who are starting the college on its next half century of service. Employees who have met five through 35 years milestones in their careers here at TCC will receive pins and certificates from their president's cabinet members and supervisors. So, could all those employees who are at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, or 35 years of service please stand? The names of all honorees can be found in your programs. Thank you to each and every one of you. Your dedication and service are deeply appreciated. 
Next, we would like to honor employees who've been with TCC or the Commonwealth of Virginia for 40 or more years. They're listed in your program, and two of them are with us here today. Dr. Summers and Dr. Woodhouse, would you please join me? First, from the Virginia Beach campus is Ms. Donna Zimba, Administrative Assistant for Engineering, Industrial Technology, and Mathematics, who is celebrating over 45 years of service to the college as well as her retirement. Next is Ms. Kathy Richardson, Administrative Assistant for Business, Public Service, and Technology at the Portsmouth campus who is celebrating over 40 years of continuous service to the college and the Commonwealth. Thank you both so much for your service. We'll be taking photographs after the program, so don't run away. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to recognize faculty and staff members who have been promoted. Again, all of their names can be found in your program. Would all of you present who have been promoted please rise and stand at your places, if you're present. Congratulations and thank you for taking a greater responsibility on behalf of TCC. Next, we'd like to recognize faculty and staff members who have completed degrees this past academic year. Would all of you present please rise and stand at your places. Congratulations on your perseverance as well as your academic achievements. Each year, the college recognizes a member of the TCC community whose life and service exemplifies teachings and examples of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., advocating a nonviolent approach to solving society's problems, fostering positive race relations in our community, striving to remove the social, political, and economic barriers of, in of inequality and possessing a realistic optimism for a better future for all. The recipient of the 2018 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. College Distinguished Service Award is Mr. Thomas Chapman, first year success coordinator at the Norfolk campus. Mr. Chapman, if you're present, please rise and be recognized. Okay. All right, let's give him a round of applause anyway. We really, we really do appreciate his service in our community and for our students. Next, we have the em emeritus appointments. Emeritus status acknowledges truly outstanding and significant contributions over at least 10 years by faculty and staff who have previously retired. Emeritus appointments are conferred by the TCC College Board. If you're present, please rise as I call your name. Ms. Deborah Benham, former professor of information systems technology at the Virginia Beach campus. Mr. Robert Noyce, former counselor at the Portsmouth campus. and Mr. James Perkinson, Jr., former Dean of Business, Information Technology, and Public Services at the Chesapeake campus. Once again, we really appreciate how much they've done and all that they've given to TCC.
Next, we would like to recognize new employees of TCC who've been with the college since fall of 2017, as well as TCC employees who have recently gotten full-time positions at TC here at the, at the college. Would all those employees in, your at in attendance today please rise to be recognized? Once again, if you have gotten full-time status recently or new employees since 2017. For those new employees, I'd like to welcome them to and congratulate them uh, for, the, for having achieved full-time status here at the college. <clears throat> Governance leadership recognition is given each year to members of the college community who have made exemplary contributions to shared governance during the past academic year by leading one of the governance committees or constituency groups. If you're present, please rise as your name is called. Cheyenne Askew. Classified Assembly, Chesapeake Campus. Maureen Cahill, Faculty Senate, Virginia Beach Campus. William Connor, Global and Intercultural Learning Committee. Stacy Deputy, Faculty Senate, Chesapeake Campus. Tony Dixon, Classified Assembly, Norfolk Campus. Joseph Fairchild, President's Advisory and Planning Committee. <laughs> Mary Gable, Curriculum Committee. Thomas Gary, Faculty Professional Development Committee. Judy Gill, Faculty Senate, College-wide. <laughs> Batanya Gibson, Workforce Solutions Committee. <laughs> Emily Hardman, Student Success Committee. <clears throat> Nancy Jones, Classified Assembly, Portsmouth Campus. Anae Pierman, Classroom Teaching and Learning with Technologies Committee. <laughs> Nancy Prather Johnson, Faculty Senate, Portsmouth Campus. <laughs> Matthew Watts, Online Learning Committee. <laughs> and Paula Wood, Classified Assembly, Virginia Beach Campus. Thank you so much for your service to the college and to your colleagues. We also wish to recognize three recently departed employees. Jim Hines, Internal Relations Committee. Josh Howell, Instructions, Instruction Committee. And Blair Rhodes, Administrative Association. I've been, I've been told that I missed a name, which is very important because we uh, really do appreciate what each of our uh, faculty members contribute to the college. Sarah DeCaligero, Faculty Senate, Norfolk Campus. Thank you. Before we come to this morning's college awards, I'd like to take a moment to congratulate a TCC faculty member who has been recognized on a national level. This year with, uh, John, with the John and Sue Ann Roosh Award. This award is presented by a worldwide consortium of more than 750 community colleges and universities and recognizes those who exemplify exceptional teaching and leadership in the community college. This year, one of those recognized is our own Harlan Krepsik.
Carlin is an associate professor of heating and air condition and, and refrigeration at the Portsmouth campus. Thank you, Skip, for joining me. Skip is a TCC alumnus who, told, who holds two associate degrees as well as a master's degree from New York Institute of Technology. He began teaching at TCC in 1989 and took, uh, and took over the HVAC program uh, as head of that program in 2012. Mr. Krepsik is also the author of seven books in his field. Skip, it's my pleasure this morning to present you your Roosh Award certificate and medallion. Congratulations and thank you so much for all you've done to prepare our students for the very in-demand field of HVAC. And now, we would like to recognize TCC employees who have distinguished themselves in unique ways. These employees were nominated and selected by their peers for their exemplary contributions to TCC's mission. They are seated here in the front row, and I'd like to ask them to join me on stage now. First, we have the Support Staff Employee of the Year. These awards recognize a full-time classified staff member and a wage employee who have advanced the college's mission and goals, as well as demonstrated effective leadership in support of the college's vision and core values. Rhonda Damore, Academic Support Specialist in the Office of Academics and Student Affairs is the Classified Employee of the Year. Rhonda joined the college in 1998 while completing her Associate of Science in Science at the Chesapeake campus. In 2005, she became a full-time employee at the district administration's office, where she currently is responsible for building the digital base for class, for class scheduling. She enters all relevant program information in the I Incur system, and she works closely with visual communications on the college catalog. She is also involved in the Guided Pathway Initiative and its integration within the INCUR system. Next, Stephen Watts. <laughs> Stephen is an operations support specialist in the students, acti in, in students' activities at the Virginia Beach campus. He is the Wage Employee of the Year. Stefan works hard to ensure that any events in the Virginia Beach Student Center run smoothly. Stefan, a work study student, is pursuing, oh, it's Stefan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stefan is a work study student <laughs> and is pursuing his associate of science in, uh, in science with a specialization in computer science. He plans on transferring to ODU or Norfolk State after graduation from TCC in 2019 and going on to a career in video game design or software development. Our Administrator of the Year is Diane Ryan. <laughs> Diane is Dean of Humanities and Social Sciences at the Chesapeake campus. Diane began her career with TCC in 1991 as an adjunct instructor of public speaking, then went full-time in communications and English in 2005 eventually becoming Dean of Humanities and Social Sciences on the Chesapeake campus in 2015. Diane considers herself a connector, helping students solve problems by connecting them to the right resources or staff members. 
She has also been involved in the college's textbook free Z degree, which has saved students more than $1 million in textbook costs. Diane is currently working towards her doctorate degree in community college leadership at Old Dominion University. And now, faculty awards. These awards recognize full-time and adjunct teaching faculty members who have demonstrated excellence in teaching, as well as full-time teaching or professional faculty members who has provided exceptional service to students, the college, or the community. Nominations are provided by students, faculty peers, deans, supervisors, and community members. Professor Manisha Trivedi, Instructor of Biology at the Norfolk Campus, is our Professor of the Year. <laughs> Professor Trivedi put in a year and a half as an adjunct instructor at TCC before, before going full time in 2011. Prior to coming to the college, she was employed in research and development in the biotechnology industry, but found herself training colleagues and hosting workshops, activities that sparked her interest in teaching. Professor Trevetti says that she enjoys connecting science to current events so students can relate to and understand scientific concepts and knowledge relative to the real world, to real world situations. She is active in the community, co-founding the Senior Citizens Club for Asian Indians of Tidewater. Here at the college, she serves on the Global Intercultural Learning Committee. She holds a Master's of Science in Biotechnology from Old Dominion University. For our adjunct, Faculty Awards of Excellence, we have Nancy Predigrew, Art History Instructor at the Visual Arts Center in Portsmouth. <laughs> Along with her teaching duties, which started in 2010, Nancy holds an open monthly discussion series at the Visual Arts Center that tackles topics ranging from censorship to copyright. Nancy earned her master's and bachelor's degree both in art history, archaeology, art history and archaeology from the University of Maryland. <laughs> Lastly, and I don't see her here, but if she is, if she, oh, here you are. You, <laughs> ah, that's okay. <laughs> Lastly, we have Miss Jackie Decino, college-wide. <laughs> Very nice. She's the college-wide electronic services librarian. She's based at Portsmouth. For the second time since, t since being at TCC, uh, since you've been at TCC since 1989. And she, this is her second time being the recipient of the Special Achievement Award. Very nice. Among her many projects, Jackie is currently transitioning TCC's library, libraries to an improved integrated management system that will replace multiple software products. Jackie holds two master's degrees, one in library science from Louisiana State and another in humanities from Old Dominion University. She also earned her bachelor's degree in computer science from Nichols State and in English from Shippingsburg University. Congratulations. Congratulations to you all. You can return to your seats. Again, we'll be taking photos after the program. And that concludes the College Awards and Recognition Program. 
Let's hear a warm TCC round of applause for all those who've been recognized here this morning. Thank you, Dr. McRae. I'd like to take a few moments to introduce our interim president, Dr. Gregory D T. DeSincu. Dr. DeSincu is the former president of Jamestown Community College in New York State, leading that institution for nearly 20 years until his retirement in 2013, its longest serving president. During his tenure, he expanded the re college's regional base, advancing educational and workforce training opportunities including its partnership with the Manufacturers Association of the Southern Tier to create the Manufacturing Technology Institute. Following his retirement from Jamestown, he served um, two years as interim president of Cayuga Community College, also in New York State, helping to alleviate the financial straits of that institution, which is now receiving more applications and is expecting an enrollment increase for fall 2018. Dr. DeSincu is a native of New Jersey and earned his PhD in Educational Administration from the University of Texas at Austin, his master's from New York University, and his bachelor's from Montclair State College in New, in New Jersey. I know that many of you um, may have seen and spoken to Dr. DeSincu over the last few weeks as he's reached out to um, the college community in person. However, one department at TCC um, is of particular personal interest to Dr. DeSincu, our regional automotive center. You see, Dr. DeSincu is only two courses short of an associate's degree in automotive technology. <laughs> so if Dr. Benno Rubin needs a new student, Dr. DeSincu is ready to get his hands dirty. Dr. DeSincu, welcome to TCC. It'll take me just a minute to get ready here and uh, share something with you while I'm getting ready. I had a, a dream last night, and the dream was that I lost my speech. <laughs> and then I got here and I announced that I'd lost my speech and you all applauded me. <laughs> but I'm sorry to tell you I found it. <laughs> and also, if anyone wants to get out of control, I want you to meet my bodyguard. I'd like to begin my remarks uh, today by congratulating all those who were recognized today for their service to TCC. I have always believed that we should take time to recognize service to the college and to our students. I also believe that these recognitions are not simply for the number of years served, but rather a point in time where we stop to recognize you for your contributions to TCC. Thanks to all of those recognized here today. And let me also thank everyone at the college for all you do to make our students successful. It is appreciated and valued. I also need to thank our boards for all the time, expertise, and energy that they dedicate to TCC. They are clearly here to ensure that we have the policies and resources in place to make it possible for us to achieve our mission. They are an impressive group of people, and I look forward to working with them very closely. To the TCC College Board, the Educational Foundation Board, and the Real Estate Foundation Board, we owe a debt of gratitude for all you do to support the vision, mission, and goals of TCC. Uh, Corey introduced the members of the board, but he, he missed one person that I, I need to introduce, and that's my personal board chair, my wife, Laura. <laughs> I mentioned to someone on the way in, they said, well, it's nice that Laura's here. And I said, well, you know, she's been with me for a lot of years and put up with a, a, lot, of, a lot of things at uh, different colleges. And I've really appreciated having her by my side as we dealt with uh, many, many issues throughout the years, but mostly lots of good times. <clears throat> <clears throat> Next, I want to thank all of you, or should I say y'all, <laughs> for the warm and gracious welcome you have given me since my arrival on July 16th. It's somewhat hard to believe 
that it's been only one month. I truly feel that the last month has given me insight into the college and the communities we serve. I have met so many talented, bright, and committed people, both inside the college and in our community. It is very clear to me that TCC is viewed by so many as a key player in the past, present, and future of Hampton Roads. It's an honor to be serving during your 50th anniversary. TCC came into existence at the time of the great community college movement. And what strikes me is how steadfast the college has been in service to its mission. Here are a few old newspaper clippings whose messages still resonate today, having to do with veterans, TCC family traditions, and workforce education. I've enjoyed getting out to each campus and meeting many of you. I also recognize there are still many I have not met. I will continue to reach out. Can we do this question? <laughs> I will continue to reach out and connect. TCC is a large college and it will take a while, but I will get there. In order to keep this promise, I will be meeting every other week with each provost on their campus. And we will host a lunch meeting with approximately 20 people each time. Hopefully we could have a mix of teaching faculty and administrative faculty and staff. We do not have to have a fixed agenda, but certainly feel free to bring your questions or concerns to the table. You may not always get an immediate answer, but you will have a chance to be heard. I've certainly been impressed by each campus and the other facilities that I have visited but even more so by the faculty and staff that I have met thus far. It is obvious how much you value the service you provide to our students and just how proud you are of what is accomplished year after year at TCC. You have my admiration and I pledge to continue your quest to constantly make TCC even better. Thank you for your hospitality. A good way to begin today would be for me to share some of your accolades and achievements from 2017-18. There's some really good news here. You served 32,982 students in 2017-2018. With the recent accreditation of the Early Childhood Development Program by the National Association for the Education of Young Children, we now have 13 nationally accredited programs. We were number five in the Military Times Best for Vets, ranking up from number 12. We were number 17 in conferring associate degrees on African American students, ranked by diverse issues in higher education. We launched the only veterinary technology program in Hampton Roads. We saved our students more than a million dollars through the No Textbook Cost Courses, or RZ courses. And very and most importantly, <clears throat> our regional accreditation was affirmed through, the 27, the tw to, through 2027 by the Southern Association of Colleges and School Commission on Colleges. More accolades <clears throat> and achievements are listed in your pro program. I think you should give yourselves a round of applause for all you have accomplished. Let me now turn to some specific thoughts, observations, and actions I have in mind for my tenure with you. I plan to be here for the full year, unless the search process, which will start in January, moves much more quickly than expected. During this year, I know we can move the college forward and have TCC fully prepared to welcome a new president in 2019. As many of you have heard me say, I define my role as your interim president, not simply as a caretaker, but as having the responsibility to do what is needed to be done to put TCC in the best possible position when your permanent president is installed. I should share a little bit about myself, and I apologize to all those who already heard some of this, but I do want to make certain I have communicated with as many of you as possible. Some of you may be thinking, why are you here? Weren't you retired? It's true, and I, as uh, Stacy said, I did. I retired in August of 2013 after 19 wonderful years as president of Jamestown Community College. 
and a total of 40 years in community college education. Several months later, I was asked by the head of community colleges for the State University of New York to take a look at a college in, in another college in the community college system that was experiencing both financial and administrative distress. In fact, they were in a very bad place. After meeting with the board, the faculty, and staff, I agreed to become their interim president under two conditions. One was that I would have the full support of the board and actions that needed to be taken. And two, that the faculty and staff could tell me that they had moved beyond denial. They all agreed, and they lived up to their promise. I had a great time working with them, and in about a year and a half, we had turned the corner, and they were ready for a new president. As an aside, when I told my wife, Laura, that I was going to accept the interim, she simply said, Greg, you failed retirement. <laughs> and I guess you can now say, I have failed retirement for the second time. <laughs> but I am enthusiastic about the opportunity of working with you and the many opportunities I see for TCC. The main reason I am here is simply to help. I'm a true community college believer. I believe we play the major role in providing educational and career opportunities for our communities. And I believe in working in a community college is as close to a calling as I, as I, as I have ever had. And it certainly does not hurt if I can avoid living through a western New York winter and another 200 inches of snow. <laughs> there are a number of major matters I will address over the next year. And I want to share with you my thoughts on how I would go about working with you to achieve positive outcomes. My operating or administrative philosophy has always been transparency, collaboration, and communication. Several of you pointed out to me that the first letters of each of my principles spell out TCC. I would love to tell you that that was intentional, but it was not. It's simply what I have always believed. I also want to make it clear that I am not saying that TCC has not operated this way. I will point no fingers. This is my way of operating, and I want you to be aware of this. And in addition, call me on it if I stray too far. I may not always be able to share everything in real time, and sometimes I may need to make some fast decisions, but it is my hope that if we can be communicating effectively and, co and collaborating all along the way, and we have established a trusting relationship, it will work out. This is a large, complex organization, and keeping everyone perfectly informed is at best challenging. But then again, that's all that one can do, their best. Let me talk a little bit about what we are facing. We have seen six consecutive years of enrollment decline and a total of a 36% loss of students. We've lost a number of our colleagues and we've been forced to make cuts to bring our budget in line with our current level of revenues. When we were staffed up for 45,000 students and we now have 33,000 students, it really isn't hard to see why we would have a problem. On the campuses, I have talked about what I believe has caused this decline and will not belabor it here. Simply recognize that the enrollment growth TCC and other colleges experienced after the market collapse and ba bank fiasco in 2008-9 was not permanent. The growth was artificial and we are now seeing a return to about the same size we were pre-crash. In addition, state funding has continued to lag far behind what is needed, and we now have a performance-based funding model that will account for 20% of our, our state funding. At the same time, competition for a declining number of students has increased on many fronts. So this begs the question, what do we do now? In my mind, we seize the opportunities in front of us we accept that there is a new norm, and we bring to bear the many resources and the talents that we have here to make things better. After seeing all that you have at your disposal in terms of facilities, programs, community support, and human talent, I don't see how we can fail. Optimism breeds success, 
and I have seen optimism in your eyes and your words as they've gotten to know you at TCC. Some of you may think I'm a little Pollyannish, and that's okay. I don't expect 100% buy-in, but we will gladly welcome all of you who wish to join those of us who believe we can make an even better TCC that can fully meet the mission of providing high quality education and training to Hampton Roads for another 50 years. We will have to do some things differently and that can make some of us uncomfortable for a while. But if I were you, I would not want to miss the ride. It could be a lot more fun than you think. In my little world, the cup is always half full. This leads us to how do we do this? It's not really that complicated. As I said, you have the resources. We may need to continue tightening our belt a bit, and we may not be able to fill as many positions as we would like for a while, but that should not stop us. First, we really need to focus on student success. Not just talk the, the walk, but walk the talk. No more lip service, but really do what it takes to make our students successful. By doing so, we not only fulfill our mission, we can increase our FTE numbers, which translate to revenue. Over the year, we need to look hard at advising. We must have multiple points of contact with our students before they arrive, while they're here, and yes, after they have left. This needs to be a high priority item. In my opinion, if we can improve advising, we can increase student success in a measurable way, which will also improve our position under the performance-based funding model. We need to fully define what we mean when we say one college, and then make certain that our systems and structures support this concept. For example, we need to truly end the competitive model that pits one campus against the other for enrollment. Four campuses working together to increase enrollments for the college should be the goal. We need to encourage and support what I would call multi-directional teamwork throughout the college, up, down, and sideways. That's how you get effective communication. In order to do this, we must be singing from the same song sheet. We also must count on and trust each other. We must be certain that every member of our college community is working towards common goals. With fewer people, it is even more important that each and every one of us is giving his or her full measure of service. And yes, we must continue to improve our collective planning and decision making. This is another high priority item. If we cannot do this, we will spend critical time pointing fingers and assigning blame rather than making progress on those things that will benefit our students and the college. We must not only continue, but increase our ability to develop both internal and external partnerships. I believe this is the only way we will find a path forward. None of us can do it alone any longer. We need help. We need good, strong partners in both the public and private sectors and we must capitalize on the synergy created through these partnerships. I know that there are still many questions to be asked and answered, and I certainly remain committed to working with you to find answers, but not today. Today is a day of celebration. Today is convocation. Convocation comes from the Latin convocare, to call or come together. What a perfect word for what I'm asking of you today. I call on you to come together, to truly start a new academic year, not based on the past, but focused on our collective future. This is the day to remind ourselves just how much we love what we do. We have the ability to create opportunity by welcoming mission appropriate change. We have the ability to change lives, and I know that you feel the same. In conclusion, I know that we can do this, and I know that you can and will continue to move forward long after I am gone. 
It is my pleasure to work with you this year, and I will look forward to being invited back to see how you are doing in a few years. I am betting on your success. TCC is not about any one person. It is the collective body of all who contribute to student success and serving our communities. Thank you and have a wonderful academic year. Of my notebook. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dr. Desinkyu, and thank you to all in attendance this morning. Um, just a few reminders before we adjourn. Campus convocations will take place tomorrow, Friday, August 17th. It will all take place at 9 a.m. in your respective campus student centers, except for Virginia Beach. Convocation there will begin at 8 a.m. in the Advanced Technology um, Center Theater. On your way out, please pick up a treat from the TCC Educational Foundation. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. <laughs>